Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today I'm here with what is hopefully going to be a very helpful video. This is part two to my YouTube success series that I started a couple weeks ago. I posted a video, basically a story time video explaining my whole entire YouTube journey, how I became a full-time YouTuber, how I got my first sponsorship deals, how this whole thing came about for me. So if you guys have not seen that first video, I highly recommend you check that out before watching this one. I will link that down below for you guys and up in the cards. But this video is going to be more focused in on five top tips that are proven to help grow your YouTube channel. So like I said, these are just going to be five simple tips on how to grow your channel, meaning how to get more subscribers, how to get more views, and how to just become more successful on YouTube overall. These will work whether you have a small channel that you just started or whether you've had a channel for a while, you felt like you hit a plateau, you need a boost. These will work for any YouTuber, any type of YouTuber in any community. So a quick little blurb about me in case you guys don't know, just so you know where I'm coming from with these tips. I actually have, like I said, been on YouTube for like 10 years. I'm like kind of an OG when it comes to this and I have built up a pretty good following. But last year in like 2017, I really felt like I hit a plateau with my channel. My channel had always been consistently steadily growing. I was really happy with my growth. But then last year, it seemed like it slowed down a lot. I was not getting the views that I I wanted on most of my videos and I was not gaining subscribers like I used to. So this year in 2018 I hired my mom as my official momager and she actually has some background in this. Before she started helping me with my YouTube channel she actually had her own business helping other business owners with their social media presence and their search engine optimization and different things like that online. So she did actually have some background. So this year with the help of my mom and the research that she did and the work that I put in and these five tips that we discovered that I'm about to share with you guys this year has been going really well for my channel I was kind of stuck at about 500,000 subscribers I finally hit 600,000 and in the month of March alone I gained 50,000 subscribers which is over five times the amount of subscribers I would usually gain a month also on top of that my watch time on my videos went up my views went up and of course with all of that means that my income also went up so the past few months Months for me this year have been going really really well and I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing okay so now jumping right in I'm gonna start off with tip number five make sure you watch to the end of the video to reach tip number one which is our top tip but tip number five is to be consistent and I know that you guys have probably heard this time and time again in different videos and people trying to give you advice but consistency really is key it also helps to put yourself on a schedule and let your followers know what that uploading schedule is. So if you're going to post three times a week, pick those three days of the week and be consistent with it. Always post on the same day and even at the same time of day if you can be that organized. Sometimes it's hard. But if you have like Wednesday at 2 p.m. and you can let your followers know that you're always going to be posting Wednesday at 2 p.m., that helps them remember to come back to your channel and continue watching your videos and that is a major key. So make sure you include that schedule on your channel header, on your page. Make sure you you put it in your description box make sure you're sharing that on your social media let people know when they can expect new videos from you and stay on that schedule and be consistent with it going along with that is tip number four which is to post frequently along with consistency frequency is a major key this is something that my mom and I have learned through research there are channels on YouTube that have grown to over 500,000 subscribers in just one year because they posted every single day so I would suggest at least posting three times a week if you can and if you can post more than that posting every day would be great but most people don't have time for that if you can that's great I know I don't I currently post four times a week which is definitely a change from what I used to do I was never really on a consistent posting schedule and I wasn't really posting as frequently as I should in the past but now I am consistently posting four times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and on Saturdays and Sundays posting frequently and having a schedule for it is going to help people remember you and continuously come back to your channel and get excited about your videos. If you're too spread out and too all over the place, you become forgettable. The main thing with this is to keep doing it. You can't just be consistent for one month and then fall off. You have to be very consistent and really, really stick to it. So that brings me 
to tip number three, which is to plan your content in advance. This might shock you, but it's recommended to have 50 or up to 100 or more video ideas written down at any given time. You need to have a holster, a list, some ammo to work with so that you don't run out of ideas. How do you expect to post consistently and post frequently if you don't have any video ideas to work with? Trying to come up with ideas last minute and just trying to pull things out of your head that day is really not going to help you stay consistent. This is something that I really struggled with in the past. I would only have a few video ideas at a time or maybe not even have any video ideas that week so I just wouldn't post. And then I thought I was doing good when I was planning my next week of videos out in advance, but really it's helpful to have at least a month two months, three months worth of videos already planned out. So my mom and I use this website called Trello, which is a content planning website that kind of links with Google Calendar. On the website, you can kind of type in all of your video ideas, put in the description for each video, put in some talking points. You can put stuff in there if it's sponsored, stuff that you need to remember. And then you can kind of click and drag from that list of video ideas onto your Google Calendar and put them on what day you want to post them. That way you can step back from your calendar and at a glance look at everything that you're going to post and you don't have to stress about it at the last minute. So that's what I currently do. I went from kind of barely planning out the next week of my videos to now having almost two to three months worth of videos already locked into my calendar. Again, these tips may seem very self-explanatory, very obvious, but the hardest thing about it is actually doing it and consistently doing it. But yeah, I definitely recommend Trello. That way you can get on there and brainstorm your video ideas and then click and drag onto your calendar. It helps me out a lot. So I will put that link down below if you guys wanna check it out. Not sponsored, just a little tool that we use. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you like what you see so far, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel. It's free and it's fun. You can join the squad and you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. All right, so moving on to tip number two. This is something that we are calling TTD. TTD stands for title, thumbnail, and description box. Now, these topics can get pretty complicated once you really start digging into the YouTube algorithm, the analytics, all the numbers, all the artificial intelligence that YouTube uses to decide what videos get popular and suggested and which ones don't. It can get really complicated if you really do your research, but I'm gonna try and break it down for you guys in the easiest way possible. So starting off with title. Obviously your title is important. If you don't know, now you know. Title is very, very important. This is like one of the first and only things that people see when your videos pop up. Are they gonna click on it? Are they not gonna click on it? The title is going to really help with that. But you need to keep in mind two things about your title. Yes, it needs to be eye-catching, it needs to be something interesting, exciting, maybe posing a question, having a mystery in there, something just, you know, maybe a little drama, maybe a little, I don't know, a little razzle-dazzle to catch people's eye. But number two is that it also needs to be searchable. So what I have kind of started doing with my titles recently is kind of almost breaking it up into two sections of the title. The first section, the first few words that people are going to see is going to be the exciting words, the eye-catching words, kind of the clickbait words. Taking something from the video that is the most exciting and the most interesting and putting that in the front of the title. For example, finding my dream house or something like that. But for that house hunting video, when people are looking for house hunting videos because they are literally on their own house hunting journey and they're trying to get on YouTube and search for stuff, they're not going to type in finding my dream house. They're not going to type in some sensationalized title. They're going to type in keywords that actually make sense. So they might type in house hunting, new house shopping, something like that. So for that video, I titled it found my dream home house hunting, hunting for a new home or something like that. So that way in the front, the part that people are really going to see is going to be really exciting. But in the back of the title, it's still going to come up in the search results. So hopefully that makes sense. Just remember that your title needs to be eye catching, but also searchable and try to think about keywords that people might actually be typing into the search engine. For the thumbnail, this is probably one of the most important things in terms of getting people interested in your channel and getting them to click on your videos and get 
getting more views on your videos. The thumbnail is the first thing that pops out at you. So obviously you want it to be eye catching, but you also want it to be very clear and easy to understand what is in the photo. Try to avoid using low quality screenshots as your thumbnail. Like sometimes when I forget to take a thumbnail picture, I have to just go in the video and pause it and take a screenshot of a video still, which usually comes out a little bit blurry, a little bit low quality, hard to really see what's going on. So always try to remember to stop and take an actual HD photo for your thumbnail. Now what's going to be in the thumbnail is obviously going to depend on what that video is about, but try to take the most interesting moment of that video and use that as your thumbnail. It's really helpful to have a clear view of your face in the thumbnail. It's also helpful if the background is kind of blurred out, that way you're not distracted by any extra stuff in the background. And if you're going to add text or extra graphics or extra things on top of your thumbnail, make sure it is easy to see on mobile view. You would be surprised that actually the majority of people who are watching YouTube are watching from their phone. Meaning that when they're scrolling through videos, the thumbnail pictures are literally like this big, like one inch big. So if you have too much stuff going on with your thumbnail, you're using small cursive writing, small thin font, they literally can't see it from their phone. So something that I did is that I used to use like this really cute cursive font, but I noticed that on mobile you really couldn't even read it. So I switched to a different font that is like thicker block lettering. It's way more important for people to be able to understand your thumbnail than for your thumbnail to be cute and aesthetic. <laughs> That's personal choice, but if you're trying to get views, this is the truth. So yeah, just make sure your images are clear, you know, make sure they're bright and vibrant, make sure that there's not too much stuff going on. And if you're going to use extra graphics, make sure that you can see it on mobile. So always make your thumbnail, post it, have it on unlisted, have it on private. That way you can go on your phone on mobile and see what it looks like first. I always do the mobile test on my videos now. <laughs> Another tip for thumbnails that I just barely started implementing on my channel is branding with your thumbnail. You guys notice when you watch a YouTube video, there's suggested videos on the side. And a lot of times, hopefully, if you're doing things right and if YouTube is doing things right, they will be suggesting other videos of yours for that person to watch so that they keep watching your videos. But there's also different videos mixed in. So if you want that person to easily know which one of your videos are still yours and keep watching your videos from the suggested bar, it helps if your thumbnails are branded in some type of way to where it's easily recognizable at first glance. This also just helps your channel look more professional and look nicer overall, but it's really more about that viewer being able to recognize that that's a Ravenly's TV video right from the thumbnail. I can tell, I don't even have to read the description. I know that's her, I like her, I wanna watch it, I wanna click on it. So what I kind of originally started doing was just making sure that I always use the same font on my thumbnails and kind of the same editing style on my thumbnail so that hopefully you could tell like it's the same style of thumbnail so you could tell that it's me. But what I recently started doing to really brand it is I started using a branded logo that I created to put on all of my thumbnails. So now if you look on my channel, all of my videos are gonna have a pink border around it and it says Raven Lee's TV in the corner. So anytime you're looking at suggested videos or scrolling through, if you see that pink border, you're gonna know it's me. You're gonna start recognizing that it's going to be really easy for you to just keep watching my videos back to back. A huge thing on YouTube is keeping people on your videos. Keep them watching one video after another. Help them to follow a storyline, recognize your branding, recognize your channel. That way it's not just a one and done type of situation. So your initial title and your thumbnail will get them excited to click on it, but your branding is going to make them familiar with you. So those are the two T's. Now for the D, which is description description, it's just very helpful to also use those same keywords from your title. So house hunting, new home, dream house, all those keywords that people might be searching for or clicking on your video for, make sure to also use those in your description box as well. That just also helps with the search results and obviously your description box tells people what your video is about. So don't skip out on your description box. Take some time to really fill it out, really describe your video and really put some keywords in there. And if nothing else, just always remember to repeat the same keywords from your title 
in your description box. Again, this is just something that has been proven through the YouTube analytics search results that this just works to help your video pop up more. And finally, that brings us to tip number one, the number one tip that I can give you that my mom recommends from everything that she's learned about the YouTube business, from her past experience, from her being my momager, from me being on YouTube for 10 years, from all, all of this. The number one tip that I can give you is do your research and never stop learning. You need to study YouTube. You need to be up to date with the new algorithm and the new analytics and everything that is constantly changing on YouTube because YouTube is constantly changing. It's way different from when I first started my channel. So there's always gonna be new tips and tricks and techniques and little hacks that you can use and just different things that you need to be aware of that way you can be successful on your channel. There are YouTubers on YouTube who make YouTube videos about YouTube and the business side of YouTube and the algorithm and different things like that. There are people who are professionals at this, who specialize in this, who have all of the insider information and the tips and the tricks and you can research this, you can study it, you can watch videos on it. To me, I feel like that's the worst thing you can do is to not study, not do your research and not stay up to date with it. Cause like I said, I've been on YouTube for 10 years but I still study. I still still do research like every day. My mom is following these professionals and watching their videos and their tutorials and their behind the scenes information. We still stay up to date with it because it's always something more to learn. You have to really put in that extra time to learn and study your craft. It's like any other skill or any other job. You have to devote that time to it and you're not gonna get that information by just simply asking your favorite YouTuber how they became successful because everyone's come up story is a little bit different but it's more about those tips and tricks that you can utilize right now and new tips and tricks that your favorite youtuber may not even know about that you can go out there and research and find for yourself i gave you guys the top five most important tips that i'm currently using that i can share with you right now but there's always more to learn so if you guys are interested in some of the specific people that me and my mom look to for that research and some of the channels that we watch on the whole youtube business side of things i will link some of those people and those channels down below for you guys to check out I would highly recommend subscribing to some of these people because they have a lot of insider information like I said so hopefully if you guys start implementing these five tips and stick with it you guys should definitely see some growth in your channel you should see your subscribers go up your views go up everything going up and of course I wish you guys the best there is room on YouTube for all of us it doesn't always have to be a competition or you know secret success I want to share my success with you guys I want to share my knowledge with you guys so don't be scared to ask me questions and I do wish you guys the best whether you're just starting your channel or you've had your channel for a while just stick to it that is the number one thing stick to it it takes time you cannot be impatient and you cannot give up so yeah that's it for this video guys make sure to give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one bye oh just casually wearing my own merch in my video you guys should check it out. On sale now. Shambles. Hashtag shambles. It's gold glitter. It's really cute. We got hoodies. We got short sleeve. We got long sleeve. We got stuff for your kids. <laughs>